evening, we're we're introducing you to people from different parts of the world who have come to live amongst us here in Ireland. Now in 2007, a Romanian man called Peter Nasca came here with his wife to Yall in County Cork to start a new life. And as well as working full time, Peter also pursues his artistic talents. So recently, Maria Malarkey went to visit him at his home here in Yall to find out how he's settling and also to have a look at his work. Six years ago, Peter Nasca, his wife Mariana and daughter Alexandra moved to Yall. Both Peter and Mariana work locally, while Alexandra attends school in the town. For them, moving to Ireland was one of the best decisions they've ever made. I came in Ireland in 2007, in February, and I think it was on the, one of the best choice of my life. I came with my family. When Peter lived in Romania, he became interested in doing something creative in his spare time. So, 13 years ago, he pursued his artistic talents and he hasn't looked back since. I don't have any background about art or something like that. But uh, in one day happened something in 2000. I was with my wife in the church and I saw some icons. I said to my wife, I wish tell myself. She told me I'm crazy, like not, nothing unusual. But really without any knowledge, without nobody to teach me one minute. And I start from zero. It's a very tricky, tricky work. And uh, effectively, you have to have patience. Without patience, no point to start. All the aluminium what I use, it's recycled and I get from printing houses and the same glass. I ask my friends which has, can help me and what I have to buy, I have to buy glue, varnish, timber and plywood for the back and that's it. Tools which I use, I use very simple tools. I do everything by myself and from, from start to finish, it's my idea, my work, and my satisfaction. That is most important. While Peter gets great satisfaction from making his icons, his daughter Alexandra is showing that her own artistic talents are blossoming too. I think my dad's icons are really good. I actually did an icon of Woody Woodpecker, as you can see now. He has loads of designs and his eyes, his hair and little designs at his feet. I love it, it means really much to me. I'm going to keep it until I have children of my own and give it to one and pass it down to the family. Working on, eye, on, on pictures make me rich. Rich not in my pocket, in my heart, in my soul. I feel, I feel good. When you make a gift, a present, and you see that smile. Tell me how much money you can have in your pocket to buy that smile. Your hand, in every one, it's my, my time, my soul, my hands, and I'm happy, I'm really happy. I love to be y'all, my family love too. I'm happy to have a good job, and I'm really happy to make my pictures and I can see myself doing this forever. Lovely work there from a very talented craftsman. We're off to North Cork now, to Mill Street, which, like many towns and cities around the country, has seen people from different parts of the world come to settle in their community. And nowhere is this more evident than in the local schools, where there are children from 19 different countries. And recently, the locals decided to get the parents of these children from the different countries to come to the school so that they could meet up with the parents of the Irish children. Take 